All the villagers raced to the airstrip, singing and dancing when mission pilot Gary Roberts landed at Seminka, a remote village in the Indonesian province of Papua. It had taken the villagers 10 years to cut down the trees by hand to clear the way for an airstrip at their mountainous village, and Gary's mission plane was the first to land. This was a big event. As Gary stepped out of the plane, the crowd grew silent. Their singing and dancing stopped. Is this a Seventh-day Adventist plane? A man asked. The villagers had seen the Three Angels logo on the airplane's tail. Gary was surprised. Seminka was a village previously accessible only by a long trek by foot, so he hadn't expected the villagers to have heard about the Adventist church. The villagers soon told him that many of them were keeping the Sabbath. The reason, they said, was because of a Seventh-day Adventist dog. The story started several years earlier, just across the border in Papua New Guinea, when an Adventist pastor named Moses and a lay pastor named Darius had the same dream on the same night. In the morning, one said, I had a dream last night. The other said, I did too, but I didn't want to tell you. They both had seen an angel in the dream, and the angel said, go to Saminka. A few days later, the two men set off on the three-day hike to Saminka. Arriving at the village, they announced evangelistic meetings would be held every evening for a week under a tree on the far side of the village. But by the day of the first meeting, Pastor Moses fell ill with malaria. He was terribly sick, and the villagers predicted that he would die. But if he gets better, then we will listen to him at the meeting, they said. All day, Pastor Moses was sick, but at 5 p.m., he suddenly felt better. He took a bath and preached. Afterward, he fell very ill again. This happened all week. He was sick until 5 p.m., recovered, took a bath, and preached. Then he sank back into bed. At the meetings, he told the people about the Sabbath and cautioned against eating unclean meat such as pork. Wild pigs are a popular dish in the Papua Mountains. When the week ended, Pastor Moses made an appeal, but no one came forward. Pastor Moses and Darius returned home deeply disappointed. They wondered why they had had the dream without any results. Back in Suminka, life resumed as normal until Saturday morning. The village's best hunting dog, Dolby, got up and headed down the trail. His owner and other villagers thought he was onto something, so they followed. Dolby went to the tree where the missionary had spoken and sat down. The villagers thought that was strange. The next Saturday, Dolby did the same thing. He got up, walked over to the tree, and sat down. He refused to hunt on Saturdays. The villagers had noticed that Dolby had stopped eating pork, too. He refused to hunt for wild pigs and other unclean animals. Dolby has become a Seventh-day Adventist, one villager said. If he worships on Sabbath, we should too, said another. Many villagers began to keep the Sabbath and stopped eating unclean foods. Gary, the mission pilot, was so excited when he heard the story, and he later called Pastor Moses. The pastor was some distance away from Suminka, so he contacted Darius and told him to plan on spending a year at the village, teaching the people about Bible truths. Today, about half of the village of 200 adults and children worship on Sabbath, and 21 people have been baptized. Dolby still doesn't eat unclean food. The villagers say he is a very healthy dog.